Let me show you one of my favorite tricks in hard ops that I often use in modeling. So let's say that you had a cylinder and we're going to make it a bit bigger. And I'm just going to, you know, select these two faces and create some sort of like a bevel here, right? And then run some loop here in the middle and, you know, split it. And then we're going to alt and macro this. And then we're going to select this one and, um, you know, create a selection out of this. Okay. So we got this one and this one, right? Cool. Now let's say that I wanted to create some sort of a vial out of this. So I wanted to convert this one into glass, right? What you can do is press Alt M and shift click on blank mat with hard ups to add glass. And you can actually see that glass inside of a viewport, which is probably one of my favorite features in hard ups, right? Because this is really fantastic when you're modeling. I was actually using this technique during the modeling of the truck for our ultimate guide to hard ups and box cutter 2.0 course which by the way, you can get my website, click the link in the video description or in a comment pin under the video to learn more about it. Now, this is a pretty cool trick, but there's one more, okay? So if I went to render this glass, by the way, it's gonna persist. So you could, you know, either add your own glass, like for example, we could use our add-on material works to do that. So I'm going to go to end panel material and let's just pop some HDRI first, right? Let's make it into simple, whatever. Cool. So you see, we can still see the glass here, but you can obviously change it to the glass from our add-on. So to this one and drop the alpha, there we go. And then, you know, normally I would just go ahead and start adding some mats here. So I would just go to metal and, you know, I don't know, maybe add, you know, this kind of a mat here, some kind of a, you know, plastic to the floor and, you know, Bob Jungle, right? But then let's say I wanted to create one of these elements, you know, I wanted to create like a small sort of a emissive part to it, right? So part of this, you know, this vial would be emissive. It's like a really, really narrow strip here of emission, right? You can also use hard ups for this. What we can do is we can shift D this for a second, Alt M and Alt click on add blank mat, right? And then we're going to have an emissive mat and we can actually, you know, slap it on here. So can go to mats and plus and emission. We can change the color of the emission to something blue and simply assign, right? And we can nuke this one now, you don't need it. So this, this would be two instances in which I'm still using hard ups mats in conjunction with material works because it's just a you know, plain emissive mat and also this glass mat is fantastic for modeling inside of Blender viewport because it allows you to see through your model and it really helps you just like cavity you know cavity helps you to see the edges and this one's gonna help you to see uh, you know the glass through so this is a really cool trick anyway that's it for this video thanks for watching and like i said you know if you want to learn more tricks like this about hard ups and how to evolve your workflow into something really really efficient then i would recommend you grab our course the ultimate guide to hard ups and box cutter 2.0 which is just phenomenal it's going to teach you literally everything about all these add-ons how to work with them all the menus all the advanced stuff and trust me there's a lot of advanced stuff uh, that no one really talks about the documentation is outdated so this is probably your best bet on learning these add-ons in the most effective way and you know we've been using them for six years so we are one of the very few folks who actually know these add-ons inside out so this is the most comprehensive and the best source of knowledge on these two add-ons in in terms of practical use and all the menus etc on the market so go ahead and grab it like i said the link is in the video description and in a comment pinned under the video thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one